Thursday morning, Buffalo, New York, live from the Peace Bridge between the U.S.-Canada border, 3.37 Eastern Time. And your buddy Matt Stepp is headed back to the United States of America, back to Texas after a Thanksgiving weekend for some Week 8 Texas high school football. There is the U.S. Border Patrol crossing ahead and we are back in the states baby let's go all right y'all just pulled up here in pleasant grove in dallas forester field is the site for a big 6-5-8 a division one matchup between the five and one woodrow wilson wildcats and the five and one brian adams cougars woodrow comes in at four and oh in district ba comes in three and one this could be for second place in the district should be a good one Brian Adams band here. That might be the best dressed band I've seen in the state of Texas right there. Got Woodrow Wilson going through warm-ups. Got to get a little pregame with the big guys. Are you guys going to win tonight? All right, there you go. And on the door. Oh. Here comes some power football. They're gonna throw it. Because <laughs> I said that. Just, just a little. No! Open. No! <laughs> uh, yes! Tony Romo moment. There it is. <laughs> the touchdown catch oh. for Landon Thomason. Our play. That <laughs> is all the tip. Uh, <laughs> Line up in power. Oh, run, run, no. play action. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't seem to enjoy this. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, The defensive oh. guy's like, no! You see it, just like, you're, oh, you man, see it unfolding, I'm, and I, you're seeing I, the leak of the tight end. <laughs> Everybody's hands collectively went up at the exact no! same time. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Nothing like a little post-game Whataburger on a Thursday night. Yeah, buddy. Back at it on the road once again. Headed north on 287 on a Friday afternoon. Up to Wichita Falls for a rare Friday doubleheader Memorial Stadium. We got two good ones. First up at 4 o'clock, we got Wichita Falls Hershey hosting Springtown. And the nightcap, the big one. Top 10 matchup at 5A Division II. Lubbock Cooper comes to town to take on Wichita Falls Rider, who is undefeated at 6-0 coming into this one. So it should be a great one. Uh, about an hour and a half drive to Wichita Falls, and uh, we'll have some lunch and get rolling for tonight. Rolling on in to Wichita Falls. There you go. There she is, Memorial Stadium in Wichita Falls. Just pulled up. Probably see that West Texas wind whipping through now. I mean, Wichita Falls is technically West Texas, but we got a West Texas like wind for this four o'clock game between Wichita Falls, Hershey, and Springtown. Let's go. So we're here in Munster, Texas, and I would like to let the record show that Ish put on his pullover before I did. So if I did any crap about this for Matt Stepp, this man, no, evidence no, no, right here, no, no, here's, 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 no pullover. No, 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 you wanna know how many jackets she packed? Do you wanna know, she packed two jackets. But I don't have them on, so bye bye Free town with the little, with the equipment, getting ready here pregame. And there is the porcupine run through right there. That is a bad boy right there. Here we got the Hershey Huskies getting ready to head in for pregame. It's Miss Marty McCoy out there, the kicker for Munster. We're doing a feature story over her. 
tonight and what it's like to be a female kicker and man <laughs> she is leading 2a division two in made PATs in the entire state so this girl is a beast all-state basketball player ish got to talk to her about basketball so excited to see that one come out How are you feeling? What's up? How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. You want to show that you actually put your hoodie, your jacket on now? Yeah. She didn't last long, so. I lasted longer than you. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> We've got fireworks. Whole town whining. <laughs> horns. Welcome to 2A with the Rider specialist going through pregame paces, getting ready for tonight's big matchup against Lubbock Cooper. Got Lubbock Cooper getting ready for pregame. We got a big one in Wichita Falls tonight, y'all. We got the Rider mascot in the house. The Raiders are gonna win, right? There you go, Wichita Falls Rider. Got the Rider cheerleaders with the little ones. Lots of energy. Lots of energy on the sideline here. There's the Rider run through. That's an elite run through game for the Wichita Falls Rider Raiders. Here come the Lubbock Cooper Pirates getting ready for tonight's big game. We're already in the fourth quarter. Yeah. This thing's it's flying good. by. It's good. It's good. That. We're moving. Competitive? You're competitive. The crowd. Has been spectacular. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Hershey wins the first one, 40 to 30, over Springtown. The the first game, and a nightcap in an absolute slugfest. Lubbock Cooper knocks off Wichita Falls Rider, 20 to 12. Got a feeling those two teams might see each other again at some point in the postseason. Those were two elite 5A Division two teams. All right, y'all. It's 5 a.m. Saturday morning. I'm here. Love field waiting for my shuttle to take me to the terminal. I'm rolling on about mm, three hours of sleep. I got up at four, made the drive over from Fort Worth to the airport. Now we're getting ready to head to H Town for a double header today. Oh, yeah, so much room for activities. Just arrived in Houston, about to pick up the bag and grab myself a little breakfast. Got a chance to hang out with Ferris head coach Stephen Greek on the plane. Uh, that was fun. Got to talk a little football on the plane. That was good. Time for a little lunch in H-Town. We're going to try Houston Barbecue Company here off Eldridge Parkway. See if it's any good. If you don't pick moist, I'm not sure we could be friends. Yeah, buddy. About to go down. All right, so we got us some fatty brisket, some jalapeno cheese sausage, pork ribs, onion jalapeno and bread, beans, mac and cheese, two kinds of sauce, and of course, a big red. That is a Texas barbecue meal. All right, y'all, so it's time for the post-game meal review of Houston Barbecue Company. Um, I was a little skeptical of the place because it's in a strip mall. Typically, barbecue joints that are in strip malls usually not great. This place was solid. Um, brisket and the jalapeno cheese sausage were both above average. I would give that probably a, a seven and a half on a 10 scale. Actually, I might give the sausage an eight. Sausage is pretty good. Brisket, seven, seven, seven and a half. Uh, the ribs left a lot to be desired. I got three meat plates, so the ribs was my third meat choice. Not great. I would not get them again. It's not good. Probably like a, like a two or a three. I don't know if I got a bad rack or what. Ribs were no bueno, I'd avoid the ribs. Um, I'd probably go turkey or chicken next time just to see if it's any better. Uh, sides were good, the mac and, mac and cheese is on point. Mac and cheese is probably a seven and a half or an eight. Uh, the beans were about a six and a half, solid. So overall, it's not bad. Reason, reasonably priced for a barbecue place and uh, you know, it wasn't too bad. So there's your barbecue review of the day. 
view of the upgraded press box here at Trailer Stadium in Rosenberg. Very nice new press box here. Got Lake Creek going through a little pregame paces here. There's a look from the outside of the new Trailer Stadium press box. Very nice press box here in Rosenberg. A little pregame here from Lamar Consolidated. Great She is Cy Fair FCU Stadium, one of the most beautiful stadiums in Texas high school football. And there's the basketball arena back there. Yeah. All right, y'all. This is the Texan Live booth. There's our play-by-play -play guy, Chase Snyder, getting ready to go. Look at him doing the work, prepping, watching a little task and seated in CE King over here. Got to support Gavin. Prep work. And you see my area. Less prep work for sure. And then we were joined by 24-7's Nick Harris, who called his first game on Texan Live this afternoon. Uh, it was not a banger. It was a blowout. But how, how do you think you did? I uh, started rough, finished strong, but, you know, learning points. Are you worried about Pickle's critiques? Yes, absolutely. All right, she's there you gonna, go. She's going to she's gonna, she's gonna rip you. <laughs> yeah, get ready. All right. If you ever wanted to see what it looks like below deck here at the Berry Center, there you go. We'll give you a little field level view here at the Barry Center. Thank you alongside Matt Stepp. Second down and four from the 19 yard line coming up. Kraft has a man in motion. They take it to him. He keeps it up the middle, gets inside the 15, and he's dragged down. All right, y'all. Another week is in the books. Week eight of Texas high school football season is done and dusted. Can't believe we are already heading into week nine of the season. It's flown by. But that's what happens when you're having fun. I just dropped off my rental car and I'm headed back to the DFW Metroplex uh, here from Houston. It's been a great weekend and uh, I think we'll do it again next weekend, H Town. What do you say? Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.